before and after I didn't even use ND filter. What I do all the time to have an amazing quality image is this. You need to make sure that you expose your image to the background. Everything is gonna be in focus because it's gonna be F8.0. That's the only downside, which is not a big deal for me. We're gonna be able to focus more in everything around. And I make sure that the subject, in this case, me and my friend that I haven't seen in a long time, we were in the shadow. Here, you see that we can see the light coming this way, but we position ourselves in the shadow because it's a little bit darker, but the Sony a7 III, we take photo raw. So we have a lot of information here, especially in the shadows. We're gonna be able to bring that up after in Lightroom. Now I will bring this photo to Lightroom and I'm gonna show you what I do to bring this photo to life. I start with my Norway preset, boom, give me a nice color start for my editing. I don't switch or change anything on the tone, exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, white and blacks because every place is different. Exposure, different contrast, different highlights, different tones. So my presets, I like to do that. And you can see here before and after, didn't really change much, but the tones of the blues, the green and the black, the shadows. Now I like to tweak and make sure that the background is even better exposed. I'm just gonna bring the highlights down and it's gonna be even better. Now we're gonna click here and we're gonna select select subject. This is the tool that makes the magic happen because it will select and recognize the subjects in this image, which in this case was perfect, me and my friend. Even that here, there is a little blur, no biggie. We can deal with that. Now we're gonna bring the exposure up. Boom. Just a little bit, as you can see, we are alive. Now we can see perfect. I'm gonna bring the highlights a little bit more. As you can see the difference here, drastically. And the shadows, I'm gonna bring a little bit up too. But to compensate that, I'll bring the highlight down. Boom, perfect, I like that a lot. And everything that I do, I like to add a little touch of saturation just to bring that forward. Contrast, you can add a tiny bit too, before and after. I hope they learned something today. This was my Lightroom tutorial. Leave your like, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.